job and um they were given like you know uniform it was in retail so they were selling clothes they were given uniform the first thing they had to iron is totally burnt because they didn't know how to iron wow. at all at the age of i don't know 18. welcome to another episode of ll's the truth i'm ll and i'm here with two special guests cheryl and sharon hey hello <laughs> and it's good morning Good afternoon, good evening, and even good, good night. night. <laughs> so, as you know, we like to talk about everyday topics and put a humorous spin to it. And today is, do the younger generation get away with murder? So, when we were younger, there are certain parameters that we could manoeuvre in. And I think that that has expanded quite widely for the generation of today. So do you know what I'm talking about, Cheryl? <laughs> I do. Do you know what? There's there's something about, um, as you're introducing it then, I was thinking, you know, do the younger generation get away with more? I think they do. I think they do. Um, when we were younger, I think it was definitely a case of children should be seen and not heard. Mm -hmm. um, and I can remember lots of instances of, like, my grandparents and my mum, you know, sort of saying, you know, that we had to kind of be quieter. But... Um, I think about when people used to come to the house, if there was, say, like a celebration or whatever, and there'd be some chatter going on. And if you, as a child, walked into that room and started to speak or join in, you would soon find out about it because, yeah. you know, you were kind of, you, you were there in big people's conversations. Right. And you weren't <laughs> expected to be and you would know about it. So, um, even, so even if you say you, you that scene where you've got everybody in the room and yeah. then you walked in, everybody'd be looking at you thinking, what, what are you, you even doing, doing there? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what are you even doing yeah. there? Yeah, whereas now, yeah, oh, kids, <laughs> yeah, you find your bedroom. <laughs> could pick up a book. Yeah. You know, but now kids are just, they're in the conversation. You say that, pick up a book. <laughs> Dad was saying, you read your book from money. Read book. <laughs> God says, go read your Bible more like. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but now kids are in the conversation as though they're like on yeah. a level. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They miss yeah. size. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what about, what do you think, Sharon? No, it's correct though, isn't it? Because back in the day, obviously, depending on how old you are mm -hmm. and the era that you're raised in is completely different because the 2,000 children, as I call it, mm -hmm. they don't know nothing. Mm. Right, they don't know our upbringing. And if you're explaining to them what's our upbringing, oh, that's old times. Yeah. What do you mean it's old times? Do you know what I mean? Are they called millennials or Zs? Yeah, or, or... Gen Z. Yeah, the gold spoon yeah. babies. Yeah. That's what I call them, the <laughs> gold spoon babies. <laughs> yeah, they think we're kind of out of date. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. Do you know this? Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, I remember, well, not too long ago, I was talking about just having you guys here and just trying to arrange the set and everything like that. And my daughter says to me, let's put the um, seats down sh um, low here because you know you guys you and your knees. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> excuse? Uh, how old are we? Uh, <laughs> knees, your you knees. Know, you've got to be careful. I'll throw it I'm sorry. Do you know what I'm saying? My, my back is actually hurting me today. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so if our parents were talking to us and we didn't agree with what we were saying or we were being instructed, there was something called what? Nobody giving a... Back chat. Right. Yeah. 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 So there's no reasoning, no discussion. You know, it was just whatever was said, you better do it all yeah. else. There was just an assumption that if somebody was older than you, they knew more or they yeah. knew better or whatever. And you just wouldn't, you weren't allowed to question, question it, it almost. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But then you find with the children as well, when you're talking to them, they, they want to interject quickly, but, 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 but what? I'm talking. Yeah. Yes. Let me finish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They think they've got the given right to be heard. Well, they do in yeah. a way. Mm. But sometimes when it's big people, yeah. no way And it's to... how it's done, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Time and please. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> For sure. Mm -hmm. Right. So, what other things do we think we can we think of that we weren't allowed to get away with? I'm allowed to say it. Go on. Washing your own baggie. 
because we had to do that when we was growing up. <laughs> wash, <laughs> that wash one, wear one. one. In. Yeah, so wash one, so, wear one. Wash one, wear one. I my daughter to wash her knickers and what? All right, I'm, I'm glad you've explained what baggy is because yes, everybody so understands what a baggy Pants, is. Draws. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that for me is, you know, being able to look after yourself, which are good qualities. So, you know, I don't know whether these millenni millennials or gen, what is it? Generation Gen Z? Z, mm. yeah. Gen Zs would know what to do if the washing machine broke down. No. They wouldn't. They would not. And they don't, they don't even know how to iron, let alone yeah. wash it. But <laughs> my, my, yeah, somebody that I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> Somebody I know, when they, they started a new job and um, they were given like, you know, uniform, it was in retail, so they were selling clothes, they were given uniform. The first thing they had to iron, it totally burnt because they didn't know how to iron wow. at all at the age of, I don't know, 18 or something. Wow. But yeah. you hear that though, isn't it? Because I think with my kids, I know for a fact from the room primary school, from the age of 10, mm -hmm. they had to yeah. iron their own clothes. Yeah. They had to clean up because I'm not doing it. Sorry. Listen. From they've got mouth and they've got hands and you've got enough back chat. Iron your own clothes. Listen, we had chores either before yeah, school yeah. or on the weekend or even both. Mm. So, you know, when it comes to a certain day of the weekend, you may, you better mm. get up out of your bed. That's another thing. Get them laying in the bed. bed. Oh, dear. <laughs> and their phone on them. Just a what? I do what? And the house dirty. <laughs> <laughs> huh? yeah. You think I could yeah. do that? Yeah. No, I used sir. to hate. I had a chore. I had to do the washing up on a Sunday. Like after, you know, all the weekend yeah, plates, yeah. I, I hated it. The the sink used to be just full of plates, man. That Ooh. was my chore. And it's endless Every washing. Because yeah. you think you're getting to the end. And yeah, mm -mm, yeah no, di finish. no dishwasher in them no. days, for sure. It's yeah. luxury. So what that picture comes in my mind now. Shall we go wash the little plate them in the, in the sink? The sink is overflowing <laughs> yeah. with pots, yeah. pans, everything. Yeah. Yeah? It was. It was. Oh, my goodness. So the chores. So if you were late for school, right? If you're running the light for school, you still have mm. to do your chores, you know, because that was your problem, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. You didn't yeah. get up in time. And we didn't have necessarily, I'm not saying we didn't have a Hoover and a or a vacuum, but mm. most of the time, for my generation anyway, we use a, 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 a broom. <laughs> so that carpet was being swept with a broom. Mm -hmm. That was a workout and a half. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I just think that these things, they may be outdated, but they instilled Basic some real skills, grounding and skills. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot of kids aren't aren't doing those sorts of things. Yeah, life but skills they just don't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but whose fault is that? If the kids are not no. taught life skills, that's down to the parenting, isn't it? Hundred mm. percent. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure Popcorn's got this song, and the lyrics in is there. You don't know about me having to have pilchards and and rice, <laughs> right? For dinner. Yeah, mm. yeah. Now you must, some people will say, oh my gosh, that's poor people food. But listen, the best food ever. That was like Quality. a Sunday treat. Yes. yes. Pilchards, fried dumplings. Yes. All oh, yeah, yeah. Back in the day, yeah. of, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not, that was, yeah. Knife and fuck, I fight for dumplings. Mm -hmm. All the lyrics are coming <laughs> out now. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm going to pick up on the point that you were making before, Shoa, because mm -hmm. you're saying that now kids are all about, well, not just kids, but society is mm -hmm. about children's rights and having a um, a voice. Mm -hmm. I'm not, we're not saying that children shouldn't yeah. have a voice. That's not what we're saying at all. But, and there's this thing about GDPR and privacy policy. Mm -hmm. Anything called privacy policy in my household? No, my household, not at all. So I think that, we all come from a background that our parents, whatever happens in our parents' home, they were entitled to understand what was going yeah. on. Mm. So if a letter came through the door, <laughs> they might just <laughs> open it, right? They, they, they might just they open, open it. it. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. If you've got access to social media sites, they might have access to those sites yeah. or regulate mm. it. Yeah. And I would say certainly some of the things that are going on in society at the moment, it's really important that you are aware of what's going on in your kids' lives. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
I think because when, yeah. when you think about back in the day, even mm. in terms of like phones and how we communicated, back in the day, if you needed to phone somebody, either A went to a phone box, right? Or the, if you're lucky, there was one phone in the house. Yes. And Which everybody would hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that went like yeah, that. Yeah. And yeah. Every, but everybody would hear the conversation, you know, yeah. whereas now it's like everybody's on their smartphone yeah. and, you know, it's almost like parents don't even know what their kids are doing in no, social true. media. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's tricky. It's really tricky. But, um, yeah, so that means that kids have a lot more privacy. There's a lot more that they can do under the radar without their yes. parents uh -huh. finding out than when we were younger, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when we first had the telephone in our house, it was like, oh, when's the phone going to ring? If the phone rang, <laughs> you know, me and my brothers and sisters would run to answer it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Just a novelty. Yeah. But um, I think we do wrap our children up in cotton wool, don't we? Because, for instance, I had to take two, two buses to go to school um, because you wanted to get to the best school. So your parents tried to mm. get into the best school. So that usually was far, <laughs> some, mm. some distance away. Um, and we weren't equipped with a, a mobile phone, were we? Mm -mm. No, we weren't equipped with a mobile phone. We had to get on the two buses. We were told you don't talk to strangers, and you had to be home by a certain time. Is that just yeah. me? Or, no, or not? My school was yeah. down the road. Was it? Yeah. You're so, lucky. Lucky. You're lucky. How, yeah, but how can you be late for school? Right. And it's just down the road. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, but now what we do, we we just molly coddle them. Really, mm. we're dropping our kids to school in the car. We're making sure, oh, they won't be safe if they don't have a mobile phone. Yeah. Which is sometimes the case. I think you just have to weigh it up for your mm. particular circumstances. Um, but one thing that does come to mind is that there's no way that a boy could come to the door and ask for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was a, a different liberty. And that brave person that came to the door, <laughs> the consequences... <laughs> It's the wrath of the parents, isn't it? It's their mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this. <laughs> yeah. So uh, did either of you have a boy that rang you up one day? Oh, and your mum answered, can I speak to Sharon? No. 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 <laughs> Discretion. No. I did. No. no. I did. Wow. My mum was like, oh, and who are you? Um. And where you come from? Where you want with my daughter? Mm -mm. <laughs> That would you have didn't been a break. No, you didn't get past first base. No. <laughs> so he was like, forget that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a brave boy that would have called your house for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't come to the door, we rang. Yeah. But still. Yeah. So I don't know. So is there anything else that we can think of? Pocket money. Because wow. kids nowadays, back in our day, we did chores anyway, didn't we? Yeah. Mm. And it was just the given you yeah. do your housework while the parents have gone shopping yeah. and it had to be done yeah. nowadays if you ask the children to even vacuum how much am i going to get yeah mm. uh are you going to go to the shops what can i get can mm. i keep the change yeah. huh? they're not work no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they talk about an allowance yeah to yeah. Their kids. yeah it's actually what's you know what's my allowance yeah. going to be so if you do a chore you're going to get a 50 yeah. pence or a pound mm -mm. yeah no, not in my day, sorry. The, the allowance should be, you know, if you do your chores, I will allow you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, children, yeah. I'm hearing some children talk about divorcing parents. Divorcing parents, yeah. how? That must be in America. Yeah. Divorcing parents. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, if you do this, I'm going to call children's services. But yeah. they do it, though. Yeah, but that's down to the school, though, isn't it? Because it is it's, given. Mm, that it's if drummed there's anything, into them. Yes, that's right. And they rehearse. Mm. Mm -hmm. the telephone number yeah so they come home and say oh well if you do this i'm going to call child line yes call them mm -hmm. and see if you've got a house to live in afterwards right because it won't be mine <laughs> right, <okay. laughs> and obviously we're not saying if you are suffering with abuse so we're just going to put that caveat in yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah your things yeah. that you you know any neglect or anything then they're those services are there for a purpose, but ordinarily, just because you're being parented yeah, and you don't right. want to do what your parents say yeah. is not a reason to call child line mm -hmm. yeah. or be disrespectful to your parents. Because all children compare their parents to others, don't they? And yes. they can always find other parents that are more lenient yes. than theirs, and that's where it kind of stems yeah. from. Well, mm. you know, such and such is allowed to do. Yeah. Well, we'll go and live at such and such's house. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then you find, I know with with the sort anyway, it, He's got a, a, a circle of friends and they discuss how their parents treat them. Mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. their topic is, mum, 
your light switch and shuts mom. I said, really? He says, yes, because you're exactly the same. What mm -hmm. you said. And I mm -hmm. says, oh, mm -hmm. so that means that they come from good home. Right. So that ain't, not, that ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I once I witnessed um, a friend at school and her mom told us to do something and she shouted back at her. Mm -mm. I was in shock. I was like, she's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw that. I literally saw that yesterday. Oh, really? really? I'm not even going to say which town because I don't want to embarrass yeah. it. But I saw that yesterday. I saw like a mom who was maybe in like a 50s and a daughter who was maybe late to teens. And the daughter said to the mom, you know, are you thick? And I thought, what? what? And in public, you know. <laughs> and I just thought, did you actually just say that to your mum? And you're still alive. Right. <laughs> what, was, what was going through your head at that time when she said that? I was in shock. And to think that she'd said that audibly for other people to hear. Yeah. I thought that's just so What was the mum's face like? I'm like... Listen, yeah. I'll be saying, if that was my was child, never in a day are you going to embarrass me in public yeah. like that. Yeah. No, never. never. No. Never. It was either, well, it just wouldn't happen. No. But it would have been, wait till you get home. Or it's just the <laughs> yeah. look. The look, you would have just yeah. run away. Yeah. <laughs> the look yeah. would have been enough. Yeah. I'm like, to me, I can't, one thing I can't stand is ill-mannered children. Mm -hmm. I really can't stand yeah. it. Yeah. And so, especially when you see that at the till, and they, this, the shops do it on purpose. They put all these sweets, all these nice little things at mm -hmm. the till. And, oh, mum, can I have this? So you see these parents struggling. No, you're not going to have that. And then eventually they say, okay, just have that. I'm like, why did mm -hmm. you relent? Why? Yeah. I think just the whole thing, you know, about respecting people that are older than you yes. is something that was really drummed yeah. in, like yeah. when we were younger. Yeah. And I just, I don't think it's the same now because I think, you know, young people talk about, oh, you got to earn respect, mm. you know, which th there's a little bit of truth to it, but I think it's taken too far. And there is just something about, do you know what? If somebody's lived a lot longer than yes. you, yes. recognise actually that they might know more than mm -hmm. you, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't think young people give enough credit for that. Yeah. yeah. I think society has changed a whole lot because I certainly remember that when you saw another elder person, you would ignore, acknowledge yeah, them. Yeah. Now people just walk past you like yeah. you're not even yeah. there. What's yeah. going on? But that's young and old, I'd say. Yeah. 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 So sure. there are definitely some things that should still be in place, I think. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. Just com the common decency, you know, yeah. the mm. res mutual respect for sure. Yeah. Okay. So if we think, do we, so do we think that um, younger people know the value of items? Because one thing we didn't touch on is that they have a plethora of gadgets and this, that, and the other. We spoil them with this, that, and the other. Mm. And I know that, one, if I had a toy, then that toy would be cherished by me because mm -hmm. I know if it broke, I wasn't getting another one. Yeah. But I see parents that will buy the latest gadgets, expensive things that probably I couldn't afford. And that item is not even cared for by the child. Mm. It's not cherished. Mm. It's broken. They buy them another one. So do you think that, I mean, it's a general statement, but... Do we think that the younger generation value what they have? I mean, I think there's just in in the West, mm. you know, in the first world. Yeah, we've just come to a place where people don't value things, and definitely with the kids. And it's it's quite hard actually to teach. How do you teach them the value of things? Yes. You know, when you can afford to give them things. But yeah, we, you only need to think about Christmas. Mm, Christmas, yeah. where we were lucky if we got like one, one chocolate percent. bar at the bottom of your head. Yeah. 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 You know, like in the little netted stocking, yeah. I remember that. And and like you say, one present maybe. And now kids But are you'll be happy like... with the one present. Yes. And if a child gets that yeah. now, it's just like... What's next? In fact, they don't What's say next? nothing. The yeah. facial reaction yeah. tells yeah. them that's yeah. not enough. But it costs yeah. a fortune. Yeah. And they're just looking for more, yeah, more, yeah. more, you know. Mm. But yeah. that is, is that, so what do you think? Do we spoil our children and then we say they're spoiled? Yeah. Is it us, is it us that needs to look at ourselves and how we are um, bringing our children up and the values that we're instilling in our children? Is that our fault rather than, it can't be the child's fault, can it? It's it can't be the child's it's fault. It's us. It can't 100%. be. percent can't be so yeah. but then if you're giving and giving and giving when does it stop yeah because yes. it comes to a point where you actually can't afford right to give them that and then yeah. the child yeah. is going to start so arguing yeah. yeah 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 so high mm. and you know when a child is really small sometimes we'll go out our way to buy this fancy present mm. and what they're most interested in box. is the wrapping paper yes. or the box. yeah yeah and do you know what this is quite deep but i think a lot of it is 
kids want time with yes. us, don't they? But because we're so busy in our yes. lives, especially, you know, if you're working parents and stuff, and you end up almost like giving giving them things to compensate for the guilt that you feel yes. that you're not spending time with them. Yeah. And I do think that contributes to why they then don't value things because mm. you're just constantly giving them yeah. things because you're not there. You know, but it's right though, isn't deep. it? Because yeah. what's priceless? <laughs> yes. Time yeah. is priceless. Love is priceless. Yeah. So when a child, when you give that child that five minutes, they will treasure that forever yeah, because exactly. it's not a gadget. Yeah. So think about when you're going on a long journey somewhere with the kids in the back. Why are you putting those tablets at the back of the seat so that they watch whatever cartoon, whatever? Have a conversation. Exactly. Get to know your kids. Yeah. Like, I mean, song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Song. Talk you know, about like anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Why can't a child, and I know they're children with some behavioural problems, but why can't a child sit still? You know, if I went out somewhere, there's another thing. If I went out somewhere, my mum or my, um, my uncles and aunts, and especially if it was somewhere of officialdom, I was supposed to sit down. It didn't matter whether it was five minutes or an hour, you know. You sit down and you keep still. Mm. But now we want to say, okay, sit still. Sit still, Johnny. Sit down, Winston. <laughs> uh, well, if my mum spoke to me one time, it was too much. But I don't understand what's going on now. What is it that ch some children just can't sit still? Oh, I'm bored. Well, let them be bored. <laughs> mm. Get them to be able to just yeah. sit down and think. And look around you. Sometimes I'm in my car and I have my little cousins or whatever, nephews and nieces in the car. And they're on their gadgets, but they're not even looking at... Look out the window, look what's going on around you. Why do you have That's to be on a gadget? That's because they've lost the social skills because the yeah. parents no, aren't speaking to skills. them. That's why. Yeah. yeah. The it's so easy to give a child a gadget because yes. you don't have to interact with that child. Right. right? Mm -hmm. But it's fundamental, isn't it? Speak to your child. And the wonder why children haven't got social skills. Yeah. Because it's not taught at home. They're not speaking to them. Mm. I mean, um, how That's many true. activities were you involved in? Outdoor activities, yes. active activities when yeah. you were young. Almost, you know, you used to go out to play. Yeah. yeah. Just, it was very, it was very kind of present, isn't it? The things mm. that we used to do, like going out to play afterwards, you know, on your bike with your friends, you were kind of there socialising, talking to people. You know, nowadays when kids are literally just stuck with a gadget and they're yeah. just swiping, swiping, mm. doing this, mm. it's crazy mm. it's literally crazy it's so different yeah. so what games did you play as a child because i can remember knock door run yeah <laughs> got a ball yeah yeah hopscotch yeah what was that i was on my about? roller boots all the time right i had like these yellow and blue roller boots that i love and the yeah. tights game what did they call that england they island what's it called with the Scotland tights work. yes england oh, island with the balls yeah. the balls on yes. the balls yeah, yeah what was that yeah i can't remember hopscotch and then Oh no, oh, I can't remember. Yeah. My, are we reminiscing? Yes. Uh, they're probably <laughs> see all these young people <laughs> thinking, "Oh my goodness, <laughs> what is what that going on?" Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, we'd be really interested in your comments. What are your thoughts about what we talked about today? If children are spoiled, whose fault is it? Uh, because it, in, it isn't the child's fault. We're the parents. We're the adult. Uh, and so we'd be really interested. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please. Place your comments at the bottom and share with everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.